Hi there, and welcome to an Altos tutorial. This is understanding and setting up email campaigns. So whether you want to nurture existing clients or you want to do a first reach to a handful of new leads or hundreds of new leads, this is a great resource for your clients and for those leads. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and you'll see here that we are looking at our reports page. This again is our landing page once you go ahead and you log into the account. When you do that, we're going to go and click on campaigns. So what are campaigns? So campaigns allow you to share these reports to your client base, whether you have a database, your top 10, you've got a, a spreadsheet of leads that you need to go ahead and reach out to. The campaigns will allow you to communicate to those folks. The campaign is the email communication that is sent to them. The campaign decides what email they receive, what day of the week they receive it, and the frequency in which they receive it. So when you open an account with us, you're automatically equipped with four different campaigns. We didn't want to start you off with a blank slate. We wanted to go ahead and do a little research, find out what works, and then create some campaigns that you can get started with. So you can literally open your account and run. So looking at our campaigns page here, the new default campaign. That new default campaign is great for whether you're a buyer, you're a seller, you're a lead, it is targeted so that it states the questions that the Altos reports answer. Okay, so if we go ahead and you click on that one, you're accessing the parameters of that campaign. The campaign title, the email subject, the from, the email that it's from, and your start date. The start date, if you click on this, You'll see here we can go to 2018 and well we're in May and we can say okay well what day of the week do I want to send it so not only are you choosing the day you're going to go ahead and choose the day of the week so if you're going to choose for the fourth it's Friday if you're going to choose weekly it's going to go out every Friday okay so Again, when you're choosing that date, you're choosing the date in which you'd like to start it, but you're also choosing the day of the week that it's going to be sent out. So if you wanted to have an end date, you could, and then you can choose your frequency. So weekly is the default, but if you'd like to change that frequency, you're more than welcome to do that. Scroll down and here is the email content. So as you can see here, you have your email content, you've got your variables. The variables call upon the contact details, so they'll automatically populate based on whatever the first name is for a particular contact. The button locations variable will embed those um, locations that are assigned to that contact, and it will be a button with that location noted. When we scroll down, you'll see a box here that says include default signature box. That will take the personalization settings that you have for your reports, creating a nice signature box. So if you use the company logo and your contact information, it'll create a signature box along the bottom. Once you click save, you'll be taken back up to the campaigns page. Go here and you can preview that email. So this is what the buttons look like. So it it's coordinated based on the color scheme that I've chosen for my reports. So you'll see the first name noted here, the copy that I wrote, and then here's my signature box. So you can choose to include it or not. We'll close out of that. So on your campaigns page, there's a lot of information being provided. So it'll tell you the last time it was sent, but the campaign ID is super important. So if you wanted to import a series of contacts, which is another tutorial, you're going to want to make sure that you proactively assign the campaign so that you don't have to do that one at a time. So you'll want to take note of that campaign ID and assign that campaign ID to a contact. 
you'll have the ability to get some visibility. So how many was how many were sent? How many opens? How many clicks? This information is updated on a weekly basis. So come the end of the week, it wipes clean and you restart that. The status is important because you'll be able to see, okay, it's going every Monday or it's going quarterly. For example, previous buyer campaign. It's a great opportunity to stay connected with folks that you've sold a home to. They've made this great investment, so why not pay attention to the market? So what you can do is utilize the previous buyer campaign. You could say, you know, you've, you've made this investment. It's important to stay on top of what's happening in the market. Here's your latest report. Now, you don't have to send them something every week or even monthly, but quarterly is a great idea so that you can stay in their mind. So, of course, if they want to refer you, they can. Or if they have any questions, they can go ahead and reach out to you. The new client default is set for every Monday, whereas the buyer campaign is every Saturday. Maybe it's Friday. So buyers, right, they're going to go tour open houses. It's a great opportunity for you to ping them and say, hey, here's a market report as you go into the weekend. And then sellers campaign. So you can change the date there too. Okay. So the status is noted there. And of course, you've got the ability to go ahead and click on any of these titles to go ahead and access the parameters for that campaign. You can preview at any time. And if you want to do a quick to assign, you can click on the assign contacts. Now, what if you wanted to create another campaign? So a use case would be, let's say you purchased Zillow leads. You're like, oh, I've got all of these leads. I haven't yet reached out to them. I don't know when I'm going to be able to do that. Using the system is a great opportunity for you to do your first touch, right? So what you could do is you can create a new campaign and you can title it Zillow leads. And you can say, um, how's the market, right? And the from could be from, you know, it would be from me, from my account, from you, from your account, your email address. And then I would go ahead and say, if, to me, it really won't matter. So what we have found is that Wednesday and Thursday are good send dates because it's midweek. When you send something on Monday, the likelihood that it's going to be read is uh, slimmer because everybody's, you know, getting in the swing of things. And then Friday, they're kind of like, I'm ready for the weekend, right? So Thursday and Wednesday are good days to send. So you choose a date. Do I want to send it weekly? This is totally up to you. But what you could say is something like, you know, although we haven't had an opportunity to connect quite yet, it's really important that I share, um, I like to share how the market's behaving with my clients, right? Um, I've attached a report for such and such. Please feel free to use the search functionality to find any location you're interested in. So you build your own communication here, but something along those lines, and then you can choose to include your default signature box, and then you click create. So if I just say um, text, test, and create. down, create, and now we've got that. Okay, so we've got that set up. Here's my campaign ID. So hopefully that makes sense. So just remember that the campaign determines the email communication that is sent to your contact, the day of the week in which it's sent, and the frequency in which it's sent. It does not determine the location that is sent. The locations are directly related to your contacts. So be sure to take a look at that tutorial to understand how to set up those contacts and better yet, how to get them in quickly. All right, so hopefully this helps. Of course, if you have any questions about campaigns or you struggle in any way, I'm always here to help. Reach out to support at altosresearch.com.